When Haddam became a half-shire town in the late 18th century, meaning it was part county seat along with Middletown, it needed a courthouse and a jail. The courthouse stood at the intersection of Walkley Hill and Saybrook Roads, the jail not far away at Jail Hill. The first structure was wood, the next brick. But in 1845, this imposing granite building was constructed to serve as a jail, a workhouse, and a living space for the jail keeper and his family. The 50-acre property surrounding the structure was a working farm where prisoners would labor to earn their keep. That was then. This is now. The jail housed prisoners until 1969, then the state of Connecticut took ownership of the building for use as a training center. But years of use were followed by years of neglect. And when the town of Haddam took title to the jail in January 2007, it also took on the task of renovating a building that had fallen into disrepair. Where to start that renovation? At the top. The roof has been patched and protected as much as possible from further damage from the elements, but a more permanent solution is a priority. A complete roof replacement must be the first item on the renovation agenda in order to protect the building from any more deterioration. Next, a cleanup project inside would include lead and asbestos abatement and the creation of a clean canvas that could then be worked on as the town considers the building's future use. The jail cells are more or less intact, solitary confinement cells included. And the Haddam Historical Society is hopeful that this space can be retained for interpretation of the jail's significance to what once was the Middlesex County penal system. The upper floors of the building offer many possibilities, from office space for rent to perhaps the creation of an attractive meeting space that could be rented for special events. But first things first. Despite its size, historical significance, and central location, the Haddam Jail has been far too easy to overlook and underappreciate. That must change. A project to begin the building's rehabilitation should begin by the summer of 2009. With slow and steady progress, this once vibrant structure can once again come to life for all the people of Haddam. <laughs>